VFPV hidden under there. You want your video to look nice and smooth and cinematic. It's not only rates that's important. Yes, I'll show you the rates, but I definitely recommend you get filters because that helps as well. It's a hot day today, so I'm going again with the ND16. I might have to jump to the 32, but we'll try off at ND16. Just push it on basically and twist. But you don't even need to twist, just push it on. There you go. Press it in a little bit, make sure it's in there good. You don't want it to fall off while you're flying, right? Especially if you're flying fast. You know, what's the point of having good rates and then your video comes out, you know, distorted and it's got messy stuff on it. So always clean your lens. Like pause this video, power up the drone, put your goggles on and I'll walk you through the settings step by step. Click this little joystick. This joystick is not only a moving joystick, but it's a button. So click on it and you'll see three little things or four little menus come up. Status, album, transmission, and settings. So let's go down to settings, right? So let's go all the way, scroll all the way to bottom to where it says settings. Let's go into settings there. The first option is safety. Let's go down to camera. That's very important, right? We have our filter on. Uh, click on camera. You get camera parameters right but we're not going to go in there yet go down to video quality and make sure it's at 4k 60 right 4k 60 now from the time you click on 4k 60 you'll see that your transmission quality goes to high quality right above it where it says 4k 60 you'll see it goes from transmission quality to high quality instead of low latency Low latency is great if you're doing some stunts and tricks, but I'm here for the cinematics. And if you want cinematic video, you're looking for the best quality out of your camera. That is 4K 60. Once that's done, you're in, you're, you're in high quality. Go up to camera parameters, click on that, and just set it to auto if it's your first time because you're gonna have to do a lot of adjustments with the filter. Put it to auto, right? Set your EV, which is your exposure violence. You got camera mode auto. Right, once you set it to auto, the next thing you can set is your exposure value. Set that to zero. Zero, so your image is not too dark, it's not too bright, it's perfectly balanced, right? Saturation, set that to zero, unless you want like a really saturated look, but I leave mine at zero. White balance, I set mine to manual, and then I come over the end where the white balance is, and I set it to 5600. 5600 is where your white balance should be, not on auto. So set that to manual, set it to 5600. That's my camera settings. This little button right next to the joystick, that's the back button, right? So you just click that once to come out back and you're back to camera parameters, transmission quality, video quality, go all the way at the bottom, right? Using the joystick and click on advanced camera settings. Click on that come all the way down to the bottom. Um, a distortion correction, I have it on aircraft only. Again, distortion correction on the aircraft only. I don't need that for the goggles. I need as real feel as the goggles with possible as possible. Not aircraft and goggles, aircraft only. So you can get the best flying experience and you can get the smoothest cinematic video at the end of it all. Come all the way down to the bottom, right? Where it says color and set the color to decent alike. Why do I set the color to decent alike? Because I want to color grade. If you guys need a color grading tutorial, let me know in the comment section below. That's the best way to get the best results out of this camera. You've got to be in decent alike. If you're not gonna get into color grading right now, just leave it in normal color profile. It'll be uh, okay. But if you want the best out of it, go to decent alike. Leave audio recording on. I like to leave the audio recording on because I, sometimes I like people to hear the audio while I'm flying a little bit. I could turn the volume up or down depending on if it's too loud, right? So I leave audio recording on, but that's up to you. That's the basic settings for the camera, guys. That's the basic settings for the camera. That's about it. I don't really change anything much. So let's take a look at what these rates do, what these settings are. So again, click on that joystick button, come down to settings, come down to control, click again, click on remote controller, slide all the way over to gain and expo. Gain and expo, click on that, and then you will see your rates in there. Now there's three categories. The first column, the first column to your left, stock is at 160 for roll, pitch, and yaw, 160. All right, so that basically means, what that basically means is both sticks are centered right now. From the time you touch it, how, how sensitive is it? Is it gonna react like, is the drone gonna react like this? 
or is it going to react like this? How sensitive is it to the touch on this stick? Now, if you're like me and you're heavy handed, you don't want it to be too sensitive. So it comes standard at 160. My settings brings it down to 100 for each one. Roll, pitch, and yaw. So I'll bring it down. Roll, pitch down to 100, as you can see and yaw down to a hundred so that way a heavy-handed guy like me who's always twitching on the sticks or i should say older guy as well as you start getting up there in, in age right you might want to take that sensitivity down because your fingers might not be as you know well they might be a little twitchy with age so for me uh 100 is where i'm going it's where i'm comfortable next comes the max rate the max rate basically means and this is when it comes to the flips the front flip you know just to do a front flip you just push forward on 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 the right stick and the drone will flip right you pull back on the right stick the drone will flip back well how fast will it flip will it flip like <laughs> like a thousand times a second or when you pull back will it flip like a hundred times a second or 500 times a second right that's basically what your max rate is so my max rate is i like a little bit more rate than what it has so i change it from 420 up to 500 i just need that fast reaction and because my center sensitivity is not fast i want my max rate to be fast again these are just my rates it varies from person to person so do you know you could just try these out and see how you like it but this is what i use last is expo expo i'm very familiar with because it's the kind of stuff that we see on the mavics right now all that expo means is that say you want to move to the right or move when you push this right stick right or left or up or down is it going to react right away or will it have a smooth curb to it i like a smooth curb to it because my hands are heavy i like big movements i don't like small precise movements even though i'm a pincher i pinch but i still move very heavy handed and fast and then sometimes i like to switch over to my thumb so for me i find that my expo settings should go from 0.54 on all three again these settings that i'm giving you is for all roll pitch and yaw i don't have any difference so my center sensitivity is 100 for roll pitch and yaw my max rate is 500 for roll pitch and yaw and my expo is going to be at its max i just love my exponential to be at its max because i'm so heavy handed so it's going to go all the way up to 1.0 for all three yep all three turned up to 1.0 so what that's going to do now is because i'm heavy-handed the slightest little movements will not be herky-jerky it, it will move in a smooth manner so i can be a little herky-jerky on the sticks because i'm a beginner right and i'm going for that smooth cinematic shot i can be herky-jerky and the drone will not respond right away it'll respond more smoother and more controlled now this is not good if you're flying between woods and trees and you need that no right and i don't even want those settings for this drone because i have no intention to be flying between stuff like a crazy person i'm just gonna wreck this drone especially since i don't have that much experience but i want that smooth cinematic gliding kind of effect i like the plain kind of look which i'll show you in a little bit so yeah i like my expo now if i need speed it's okay i can still get the speed as long as i jam the stick all the way up so if i need fast movements just go all the way fast and it will react fast at that five at that 500 rate speed which is pretty fast i just have to remember to push the sticks all the way out to get that instant reaction so to speak but as long as i go like this controlled and slow the reaction will be nice and smooth gps check 20 satellites take your goggles off when you're taking off right from your car that's that's one important tip and take off like a regular mavic now that we're up in the air we can put the goggles on make sure it's nice and comfortable gotta love the pause button right this is the beauty with the dji fpv you just gotta love got my goggles on we're all set now the image looks a little flat Yes, it does look a little flat. Let's hit record. 
on the drill. So these are my rates, guys. As you can see, I can move my hands a lot and it's not really twitchy on what you're seeing. See that? See that? It's still smooth. It's, it's a little delayed, but it's smooth, right? Again, I'm not doing anything crazy. So I'll, I'll go with smoothness over, um, over response. But look at that. I can still dive between things. There we go. Whoa, let's go between these trees, but not between the people. See that? It's nice and smooth. It's nice and smooth. Check for these people. Let's cut through the trees right here. Nice and smooth. I can still go up and look down on things. Spin. See? See how fast I spin there? Because I push the stick all the way at the end. But I'll do it again and show you. I do not have to be that fast. Like I'll go up and then I'll spin slowly. See that? It doesn't have to be as fast, right? Because I don't I don't push the stick all the way to the end. So you can see, look at that. Doesn't take much to get nice, smooth, cinematic video out of this. And you can push on these sticks and it won't hurt you jerky and mess you up. Look at that. It's great for orbiting and stuff. Has like a nice Mavic kind of a feel to it. But at the set time, you still fly an FPV. You can still do some of the cool stuff. So I try to get this as a magic feel as possible. There you go. Looking up and around and stuff. There we go. See, nice and smooth as possible for orbiting things and stuff like that. So yeah, there we go. We can fly through here. We can go down and around. I'll try so you guys can see my sticks, hopefully. Uh, yeah, I'll turn a little awkward. Not the best position, but look at that. Look at that, right? Look at that. Moving around this pole. Look at that. See, and even though I'm just pushing on the sticks, it's not really herky-jerky. It's slow to respond again. That's all right, unless I jam the stick all the way at the end. If I have like an emergency, I'll jam the stick all the way at the end. But of course, I'm not trying to do anything risky as well. I can also fly low, you know, but just not fast. I don't want to fly too fast. And my angle, just in case you're interested in my angle, my camera angle is, what is my camera angle? 27, 27, I think my camera angle is, yep. 27, 26, 20, yeah, 27, hovering between 26 and 27. If I change my camera angle too much, then I'll need more speed in order to see upright. And I don't want that. I'm happy with the speed that I have already, so yeah. So my camera angle is good at 27. I can still fly between stuff. I can still make calculated moves, as you can see. Screen was breaking up there. It's not the end of the world, right? There you go, I can still fly. And it's like you get this nice smoothness, right? And you get the nice travel on the sticks. I prefer the travel on the sticks instead of every little twitchy thing makes like a huge difference, you know? I'd rather not have that, that's just me, right? And then of course the punch. You can push it all the way up, punch, and then rotate all the way around, or rotate fast still just by pushing the sticks all the way to the end. So this is what works for me, right? I'm not saying this will work for you, but because you guys have been asking to see my rates, these are my rates. If you're trying this for the first time, go to a nice big open air. And I love this flying this drone, I'll be honest with you. Um, since I picked it up back after putting down the regular FPV drone, which I think really helped to improve my skills, I'm really enjoying the, the range on this thing. And I'm really appreciating it for what it is. Remember, I'm coming from the filming background. Most regular FPV pilots are not coming from that filming background. So they're not looking for this right but you know me and you we are this is this is the ultimate goal we want that nice cinematic smooth flight as you can see it's just it feels like a plane and i feel like the back just drifts sometimes the way i fly it's just drifting around with me sometimes and i like that kind of drifting smooth effect and just flying sideways and you know flying sideways close to things and stuff it's just it's just a different feel it's just a different look and to get that cinematic as well is just unbelievable unbelievable look you drop it it dives you come down wow look at that guys there you go you got the filter tips you got the camera settings you got the rates 
and sensitivity settings that I use. Um, take this as a good base point and see how you react to it. I hope this video was helpful. Be sure to hit thumbs up if you got some value from here. Make sure you sub up so you can get some more FPV videos and tips and tricks and tutorials along with the Mavic stuff. I'm loving the Air 2 as Make sure you tell others about me that I'm out here making videos for you guys and I will catch you whenever I can. Now the 1200 milliwatt hack is only for your goggles. What does that do? Well, number one, it allows you to fly these type of drones, your typical FPV drones, with this goggles at full power output or full potential. So it will take this from 750 milliwatts all the way to 1200 so you can get more range on these guys but i found that since doing the hack i'm getting better range on both so i figured i'd share it with you you can put it in your goggles give it a try and let me know if your range has improved on these two bad boys all right now to do this let's head over to the computer and we'll get this started so first things first, right click on your desktop and you will see that it says new, go to new and come down at the bottom here where it says text document, pow wow, click on that. Now, it, first thing is it gives you the option to name the document. You want to name the document N-A-C-O underscore P-W-R, again, N A c o underscore p w r once you got that done you hit enter you have named the file let us double click on the file and open it up now at the top here we will put this into the file p w r underscore two p w r underscore two then go to file and hit save and close it out as simple as that you've created the text document now your goggles should have an sd card in it nothing special i don't put any fancy or fast sd card just your basic sd card in there take that sd card out like that put it into an sd card adapter like that and plug it into your computer when that card opens up on your computer just right click on your file hit cut come into here right click and just click paste do not paste it in any folder just paste it directly into the goggles a folder as soon as it opens up and take your goggles out your sd card out and pop it back into your goggles simple as that when you power it on you'll leave it for a few seconds and it will load the file and unlock your 1200 milliwatts make sure you become a patreon guys big benefits to patreon get direct access to me any questions i'm right here on patreon support this channel and there's benefits last mini two went all the way to the uk with that being said guys i will catch you in the next one